task, we want to look at how we can actually make a bent shape um, in order to produce a, a part that looks something like this, okay, from a piece of acrylic that starts life as a strip like this. So the dimensions of this strip are um, 500 long by 50 millimeters wide by 3 millimeters thick, okay, and that's the, the piece of acrylic that we want to use for this. We're going to be using a strip bender to actually bend it, but in order to plan how it's going to, how it's going to look, we're going to be using a new tool called the sheet bending sheet metal tool, although we'll be using acrylic for this. Okay, So to start with, we need to plan how we're going to do with this. So I'm going to um, put uh, a new art studio, just so I've actually got a blank space to work with. Okay, I'm going to be working on my front work plane. So I'm going to put a new sketch on that work plane. Okay, so we know that we have 500 uh, millimeters to play with. So I'm just going to randomly draw some lines just to start to try and build up my shape. Okay, well, I, I can add in measurements later on as I go. Okay, so let's try something like this. There, 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 and there. And there to finish off. Okay, right. So, first problem is how do I know how long, how much material I've, I've possibly used here? So, we said we've got 500 millimeters to play with. Well, a tool that we haven't used yet is this tape tool down here, which is um, measure details. And you can use this to select various parts to actually add in um, to measure them quickly. So, there, and that. And what it will do, it will tell you the total distance that you've actually measured so far. So you can see here that um, I'm getting quite close to um, that, but I'm nowhere near 500 yet. Okay, so I've got 269 millimeters that I've used up there. Okay, so now we can start to apply some dimensions to this. Okay, so let's um, add a dimension to this. Let's make this one 50 millimeters. Yeah, and that automatically um, enlarges the whole of the shape in proportion, which is really handy because we haven't locked anything down yet. So um, We've got, we've got a, a nice sort of shape drawn there. Let's check again our measurements. So this, oops, hang on, I still have my dimension tool selected. Let's try that again. There, 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 there. I'm getting close, I'm getting closer. 450, okay, so we, we know we can actually change um, some of this. Okay, let's look at enlarging. Um, this line here, this one I think is going to be too small at the moment, so I'm going to change that up to 25. Okay, there. Okay, and we'll change this one also to 25 as well. So that and 25. Okay, all right, that's probably getting about there now. Let's just um, click on these. I'll deselect your dimension tool first. So we can check the accumulated measurement to try and get it as close to 500 as we can. Okay. Well, it's a little bit short, so we can we can we can carry on increasing this until we get it to the, to the right size. Let's um, whack this up a little bit further. Let's make this uh, let's say uh, 40. Like that. We'll raise this one uh, 40 as well, okay. And we'll also do a dimension on this one here, change that to 40. Okay, let's see how that looks now. So, again, use my measurement tool, deselect that. I can just go around and it will add up the dimensions of my shape so far. Getting close now, there, there. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Okay, right. I'm gonna, um, hold it at that because things will change as we as we do it. And we've got to allow for bending and all sorts of other items here. So, okay. <clears throat> Next thing, what we're going to have a look at is um, how we can extrude this to make it into a surface. Now we could actually add some other dimensions if we wanted to. So we could say uh, this one here. We could make that a particular angle that we want to use, um, or we could. Um, set the actual um, the length of it exactly the length we want. So let's make this um, uh, 
angle this one for us there. Okay, let's do that at um, 80. Make this one a bit higher. Yes, that'll do. Okay, right, so um, the important thing is that this one and this one here are aligned because they're going to be at the start and the end of it. And we've got a little funny thing here. Um, yeah, we can we can have a look at that later on. Okay, so I'm next going to extrude this, but I'm going to extrude it as a surface. So I'm not trying to make it into a solid, I'm going to do it as a surface. Now for this I have to just select each of the lines that come through for it. Okay, so I haven't set any figures, this is just the line that I'm extruding through. Okay. I might do something with that little line in a minute, but we'll see. Okay, and um, we know that the the width of our material is 50 millimeters, five centimeters or 50 millimeters. Okay, and that will give me a shape that looks like that. I'm not happy with this step bit here, so I'm gonna go back and just um, change that, I think. So we'll just, um, what we'll do, we will increase this distance here. So let's take that, and we'll change that. We'll make that um, 60. Uh, yeah, let's make it 70, 70. That's better, I think that'll work better now. Okay, right, good. My extrusion will still work, so we've got our shape there, brilliant. Okay, I'm not worried about the curves for a minute because we're gonna to come to that. Okay, now, the next thing is that I've got this special tool which I'm um, called the metal, sheet metal tool here, okay? And what it will enable us to do is to plan how we can actually bend this shape out. So I'm going to click on that on that tool, yeah, and this brings us a new um, item here. We have to first of all select the shape we want to, to convert, so I'm going to click on that, okay, and you can see it starts to think about how that might bend according to the thickness of the material. So I've set this to a thickness of three millimeters, so this is what it would look like if it was set up and made out of three millimeters metal or acrylic, and it's done. But if you look at the, the corners, they look a bit funny at the minute. They look as though they're butting together because we have to tell it how we're going to bend this. So I'm going to use my edges here and select the edges that are going to be bent. And what it does, it rounds them off for me. Okay, there. And I just work my way through for each of the, the, the corners. Select those and it will try and round them off for me. And what it will do, it will highlight if there are any problems in the model if it's not possible to actually bend a particular um, bend the way we want it. There we go. Okay, that looks really cool. Okay, right now, <coughs> um, we could change other surfaces. We could look at bend radius and other items, but that's enough for me to actually work with for the minute. Okay, so now to check this, there is a new tool that's opened up at the side here. See the panel here, and there's a new tool here. If I click on this one here, what it does, it will lay out the material and it will show where each of the bends are going to be. So it makes it much easier to mark on your sheet of acrylic where those bends are actually going to go for you. Okay, and we can export that out as, a, as an image to use for it. Okay, so now we have our complete bended metal there. Okay, now what happens if you decide to change some of the layout, you don't like the um, the drawing. Well, you can still go go into it. So we can go back into the sketch, and we can say, well, really, actually, I wanted this one to be slightly less. So maybe that one was only at 60, say, for example, yeah? And that will reduce that down, yeah? Green tick that, and my drawing, my model, will adjust accordingly, which is really cool, okay? And that part can then be exported out as a drawing, as a model, um, we can lose the parameters around it and you've got your, your model there. You can go into here and you can take out the um, shaded without edges, so you show the completely shape there. Yep. We could go back into the sketch, we could look at, um, sorry, not that one, no, we could go back into the, the model here, select a surface, so we'll select a surface, that one there, um, put a new sketch on that surface, yep. top view. We could add in a circle. Now, I'm going to take the midpoint here and the midpoint of this one here, meet the two up, draw out a circle, make this uh, 12 millimeters, and there's my circle there. Okay, 
we'll extrude that circle. Okay, so just that circle, we want it to remove. Okay, and we want to go the opposite direction. On there, and we need to tell tell it that it's going to up to next. Okay, and that should take it out for us. Green tick, and there I have my finished product there. Pretty cool.